Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Spellbinder's report. I follow up on my earlier video about Soho crashing. At least the website wasn't working as far as the uh, showing images. They were just saying no data available. It kind of like Soho went offline after those CMEs occurred after the comet hit. And this is showing you how massive that explosion actually was. And here it comes again. They're coming to the picture here. There it is. This, I believe, in uh, Thunder God's. Uh, I believe the organization is correct. Comets are electrified. They pick up a reverse charge in deep space, and as they come in, the opposing forces create it to light up like a Roman candle. Or at least like a flare. And it's really plasma. It's giving off more than it is moisture and other things. It's particles of energy. I mean, you see the pictures they have taken with satellites. It doesn't look like moisture really spraying off of them. It looks more like a plasma shower. Uh, similar to a plasma sphere that you see. Before, I couldn't get um, this to come up at all for several hours. I just checked back here at, oh, about 10 o'clock, and it was back online. Soho C2 and C3 Lasco. And it's actually going to the second day. When I first came on here, it wasn't going to the second day. I had it from, oh, from, uh... October 1st to October 2nd, and only October 1st was playing, which was this part. But then there's a big gap. When you get in here to it, it goes here 19, 20, 21, 22, and it goes to 2, and it goes all the way to 11. Amazing, huh? That whole day, that's how many hours are missing. So you can figure out how many, it's about a whole day, this thing, the Soho uh, line was down. I mean, you could get here, this would come up, but up in the corner, up in the side, it would say, no data available. So apparently, it must have been a pretty spectacular shockwave to the satellite. Let me go now and go to C2. And then I'll show you. There it is. Got a boom. Right there, have to see it come up in here in a moment. A really bright comet. I mean, it may have been no bigger than the Earth, but it gave off a glow bigger than Jupiter. Like I said, it's like thunderbolts.org. It's plasma. I mean, you, you can't you can't doubt that. It's more of a plasma coming off of these comets. And it, and depending on how much charge they got, they may not even have water shooting off of them. It may be just the plasma discharge from the opposing polarity that it picked up out in deep space. And you can see it come in, like, get brighter and brighter and brighter back along in here. It goes in, there's this dart here, and then there's the spectacular explosion. Then there's a few more flares on today, later on. Right, one more time of this coming through. One more impact image. And kaboom! I mean, that had to be an X plus. That had to be a Y. But it was away from us, so we didn't get the X-ray burst. It appeared to only show up as a uh, over halfway of the M KP flare. Okay, I'm gonna back off from here, and I'm gonna take you. To here, the HMI, 
which this is the one that went off after the impact of the comet and the big explosion in the back. This particular sunspot burst. A nice one too, you could see it come out. It was about like that big a round of a burst come out of it. And this one gave a small burst and it shot off. And that was earlier today. Matter of fact, it was on uh, Suspicious Observer's YouTube channel. He actually shows that. And there's really nothing here but still pictures. Let me see what 171 is a still picture. Nope, oh, they actually got three pictures on here. I'm amazed. This way you can get an idea of how active the sun really is. I mean, there's a whole band going all the way around the sun. That's active. Amazing. I can't really go here. And I'm going to lift this around so you can see where it, it, it actually... It was up into an M, just about three quarters of an M, almost hit an X. And that explosion from the comet impact on the far side of the sun had to be up here, which I call Y, since they haven't actually went, got around to classifying it. As in, why did it happen? <laughs> why did it happen? Something. I remember in 2001 they had that one. It was a Y. It went. Uh, it peaked above here. It actually went above this, this here at negative to the third. And it actually was massive. And let me show you that there. It was up. The one that happened in 2001 was actually up here, and it actually had the space between that spot and that spot where it peaked above, where it peaked. It peaked up here about where the top of the, over the top of the T and the E is where it point, this point here came. And that was a massive flare. They never had one of them before. That was the largest flare they ever had. It caused northern lights all the way down to, I think just about down to Georgia in 2001. Amazingly, it didn't take out the power system. But I think it did take out the, the uh, power grid, and I think that's when the one up here in, in uh, I guess it was uh, Cleveland and Canada, Ottawa went out right after that mega, mega, mega flare. And I think we just got glanced by that one. Alrighty then. Take you back onto here. This is what everything looks like right now. Everything's nice and colorful. I always like these pictures because I got the entire spectrum in there. And you can tell you what the light spectrum they're using is 17.1 nanom. And uh, let me see if there's anything else I can grab up here and show you all the different observations go to the current solar images the one I like is this one here because it gives the some of the best detail of the sunspots shows you all the stuff around it this is the one that got us to got us yesterday Or at least I think it was either yesterday or just for today. This one went, came off. That's the one that gave us the M, the M class KP flare. And then there was one here that went off. I mean, it, it was just amazing. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's all I got time for. And I'll leave you with, with this picture here until you be prepared, keep safe, 
have extra everything, batteries and all, because it looks like it's going to be a rough next year for sure for solar activity if we're already getting stuff like we saw today. It was just massive. I've never seen a comet do that to the sun before. Amazing. Until next time, be good, be good at it, and good day.